I know all the evidence says I killed my husband. I can't even stand before you and deny the accusation because I have no memory of what happened that night. I need somebody on this who can get inside, someone they will trust. If she gets released from prison today, I want to do a follow-up story on the murder of Gary Lash. Friend, the real reason I invited you here was to ask you to help me find Gary's killer. Molly Lash is guilty as sin. You ask me, they should have cooked her. It's not funny. No, I'll tell you what's funny. So you're getting six years for scrambling Gary's brains all over his desk. He told me he was having an affair with a nurse at the hospital. I had just had my second miscarriage, and she was pregnant with his baby. Dr. Lash and Dr. Morrow were having an affair with the very same woman. It just doesn't make sense. She was sleeping with two doctors who were murdered three days apart. He said that he, that he wasn't in love with you. How could the police suspect Molly? She was the last person to see Anna Marie Scali alive. She had motive and she had opportunity. Why can't I remember, Jenna? Maybe I followed that girl out. Molly, stop it. Just because you can't remember doesn't mean it didn't happen. I'd like to believe Molly is innocent more than anyone, but the simple truth is if she witnessed a murder, there'd be no reason to suppress that memory. I want to use you as bait. I won't kid you, it could be very dangerous. I don't want this Francilma sticking her nose into every crack in this hospital, so either you do something to put a stop to her, or I will. <laughs> We need to stop Fran from digging up the past. And I'm afraid if she doesn't stop, you'll be next. I would rather be next than spend the rest of my life being afraid to remember. You don't know because I was there. If Tommy knows anything about Dr. Lash's death, you've got to take him to the police right now. You had to come back and ruin everything. I don't think I would have made it through the last six years if it wasn't for you, Jen. You're the only one who stood by me. I remember. 